share a personal story of mine. When I was in primary school, I used to be one of the quietest kids in the class, and I don't like to talk. In fact, I would look for any possible opportunity to skip my oral test and even my public speaking presentations because I'm just too afraid standing in front of a crowd. But then comes a time where I can no longer skip it anymore because my class teacher has actually selected me to represent my class in the public speaking competition. So here I was standing out on stage, speaking up to 500 people, everyone looking at me. And I was so nervous to the point where my palms were sweating, my legs were shivering. And as I began to speak, there was this little voice inside my head that says, come on, Shui, you're not going to make it. You don't have the talent in speaking. And the next thing I know, I have forgotten my entire script. And I stood there without knowing what to do. And everyone was waiting for me to say my first word. So was I. And as I look up into the crowd, I see people laughing, I see people whispering. And that was one of the most embarrassing moments in my life. And after that, I tell myself that I will never speak in public again. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you this. How many of you had a time where you wanted to achieve something, but there's this little voice in your head that says, I can't make it? Anyone? And how many of you believe in those voices? And because you believe in it, it caused you failing to achieve your goals in life? Or how many of you ever had a time where you wanted to share this idea with your teachers, your lecturers, or even your boss. But there's this little voice in your mind again that says, let's not be stupid. They're not going to understand me. My idea will not work. Why even share it to them? And because of this, you believe in it again. And it causes you failing to look for opportunities in life. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this little voice over here has a name and it's called fear. And it's the, it's the number one factor that prevents both of us here from achieving our goals, from achieving the life that we desire. So today, in this 18 minutes, I would like to share with you three things. Number one, what is fear? And why is it important to understand fear? Number two, how you can overcome this fear? And number three, how can you create immense confidence in you whenever you want, anytime, anywhere? Now, ladies and gentlemen, here's a question for you. The story that we ask ourselves, are they true or false? How many say that it's true? How many say that it's false? Well, guess what? They are all true if you believe in them if you choose to believe in them. Because it may be true to you, but it may not be true to other people. And these stories that we tell ourselves are limiting us from achieving our greatest potential. Now, ladies and gentlemen, may I ask a favor from you to raise up your water bottle in your seat just like this. Okay? May I ask a favor from you to raise up your water bottle just like this. and I would like you to raise it up for the rest of my talk. I'm just kidding. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, this water bottle over here represents our life. Because if you hold this water bottle like this for a minute, I feel light. But if you hold it for an hour, I started to feel stress in my hand. But if you hold it like this for a day, your arms will be paralyzed and your arms will get numb. And this applies to the story that we tell ourselves as well. 
Because if you tell yourself a negative story for an hour, nothing happens. But if you tell yourself a negative story for a day, you start to feel stressful. But if you tell yourself a negative story for a week, trust me, you will be paralyzed by that fear, and it will prevent you from taking the action that you want. Now, allow me to share with you this quote about a motivational strategist named Tony Robbins. And he, Tony Robbins said that we all have our own stories. And as we stay attached to these stories, it prevents us from growing and living. So if you want to have a better life, change your story, change your life. Now, let me share with you the, a story about the power of beliefs. Now, back in 1954, the most common belief was no human being can actually run a mile in four minutes. By the way, a mile is around 1.6 kilometers. And scientists around the world have run tests to prove that it is against human ability to run a mile in four minutes. And runners all over the world have tried and tried again, but it has never been done. And here's what happened, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes a man. His name is Roger Bannister. And Roger Bannister told himself a different story. Roger Bannister said that he is going to be the first man to run a mile in four minutes. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? In April 1954, Roger Bannister became the first man to run a mile in three minutes and 59 seconds. Now, here's what's interesting, ladies and gentlemen. After six weeks of breaking that record, another gentleman broke Roger Bannister's record. And within a year, 37 people broke that record. And until now, 20,000 people, including high school kids, broke that record. Now, what has happened, ladies and gentlemen? Here's what has happened. When the athletes step up on the field, they now have this new belief that says, if someone has done it, it is possible for me. I can do it as well. The story that they tell themselves, they change the story that they tell themselves. And it's not about the physical barrier, it's about the mental barrier that we have that prevents us from achieving our goals in life. So the story that we tell ourselves, ladies and gentlemen, has the ability to affect the actions that we take, and it will affect the decisions that we make, and it will change our destiny. Now, let me share with you something interesting about our mind. Now, our mind is a survival mechanism. It is designed to protect us from danger. It's not designed to make us happy. Now, this is useful a thousand years ago. Why? Because if you see this tiger over here, the brain asks you to run. The brain is trying to protect you from danger. But what about the 21st century? It's no longer useful for us. And we want to switch this survival mode off. off. And the reason, because, the reason is because if you go up on stage to do a public speaking, or if you sit for an important exam or attend an important meeting, our mind will always looking for what's wrong. Our mind will always tell you that you are not good enough. It will always try to protect us from danger. And this is why it's not good for us and we want to change that. So today, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to share with you one strategy, one powerful strategy that you can use to change the story that you tell yourself. Now, as simple as it sounds, if you apply this strategy consistently in every single day of your life, trust me, you will see a tremendous increase of productivity in any aspect of your life. How many of you would like to know this strategy? Raise up your hand and say I. Now, the strategy is this. If you want to change the story that you tell yourself, you must first learn how to change 
your focus. Now, I know a lot of you might think that change your focus is very easy, it's common sense. But think about it. Most of us don't really focus on things that we want. Most of us focus on things that we don't want. And most of us focus on the fear that may happen to us. So right now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to conduct a mini experiment with you, okay? So right now, here's what we're going to do. I would like you to look around the room. I know it's dark, but look around the room for objects that is red in color. Go, look around the room for objects that is red in color. And right now, close your eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Close your eyes. Now, with your eyes closed, I would like you to point to the object that is red in color. Point to the object that is red in color. Okay, right now, with your eyes closed, I want you to point to the object that is blue in color. Point to the object that is blue in color. How many of you find it difficult to point to the object that is blue in color? How many of you find it easier to point to the object that is red in color? Why? Because seek and you shall find. Whatever we focus on, we are going to find it. In fact, let me tell you something. We are going to find it even if it's not there. This is how powerful our mind is. So if you want to change the story you, you, you tell yourself, you need to first change your focus. And let me share with you one simple way that you can use to change your focus. And it's by changing the questions you tell yourself. Because questions direct focus. Now, how many of you have a stupid friend who likes to ask stupid questions? So stupid to the point where you just want to give them a stupid answer. We all have friends like that, correct? Now, our mind works the same way too. Because if you ask yourself a lousy question, your mind will give you a lousy answer. But if you ask yourself a positive question, your mind will give you a positive answer. Now, an, in an interesting research has shown that our human mind asks ourselves questions 20,000 times a day. And 70% of those questions seem to be lousy questions. Let me ask you this. Think about it. Every morning before you wake up, when the alarm clock rings, what is the first question that you ask yourself? What time is it now? How long more can I sleep? Now, if you ask yourself this question, your brain will go like, it's 6.45 now, you have 15, 15 more minutes to sleep, and you end up sleeping for the whole day. And when something bad happens to us, we ask, ourself, we ask ourselves questions like, why am I so unlucky? Why am I always the one who encounters failures? And your brain will go like, because you're stupid, because you don't have the talent. Lousy questions. And we want to change that. And in order for you to change your life, ladies and gentlemen, we must first start by asking ourselves positive questions. Questions that empower us. Now, so here's four questions that you can ask yourself every single day, whenever you face challenges or whenever you wake up early in the morning. What can I do to make this situation better? What can I learn from this event? What am I grateful for? Or is this a blessing in disguise? You see, ladies and gentlemen, by asking yourself a different question, it triggers your mind to look for solution instead of focusing on the problems that you have. And ladies and gentlemen, remember the little boy that I had whenever I step up on stage? Well, guess what? Before I step up, step up on stage, while I was preparing, this little voice came up to me. What if no one wants to listen to me? What if I screw things up? What if I forgot my speech? But very quickly, I did allow this voice to get over me. I changed my focus by changing the questions that I asked myself. Now here's the question I asked myself. I only have 18 minutes and a hundred of you are coming here today to watch me speak. So what is the one important message that I want all of you here to take home? And that, my friend, is a million dollar question. 
And one last thing. Can I have the show of hands? Can I show this fist? Can you guys show this fist? And say, this is you. Okay, this is me. And this is your fear. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when we first encounter this fear, it will be painful as we clash. But as time goes by, as you take the courage to overcome this fear, you get stronger and stronger. And as you change the story that you tell yourself, you get stronger and stronger, one day at a time. And one day, you will overcome this fear, just like this. So ladies and gentlemen, change your story, change your life. Thank you.